Yeah, you know, guys, hey, I'm um, going to show you how to put a, a gable in the center of a, uh, a the straight side of a hip. Okay, it's reasonably simple. Um, there's several ways to do it. Okay, so this might be the outside of our top plates or our pitching point, which is essentially, say, here. Right, so this is the outside of our frame. And if we create our roof, we would actually have... Uh, an overhang of our uh, overhang of our roof here. So if I just go here and I click, uh, let's have a look at this. 25 degrees, and see here we have an eve overhang. Let's go to submit, and you'll notice that I have an overhang here for my eve. Right now, here I need to create this gable. So you'll come across several. Uh, issues or options that you can do here. So I actually want to have a 600 overhang outside of here so the best way to create the roof is to offset this by 600. Right and now I have my 600 overhang. Just delete those lines and make your roof at zero overhang. Okay so I'm going to show you what that means. So essentially what's going to happen is it's going to change the height of your roof and I'll explain that in a moment but I'm just going to go to zero overhang and go submit therefore my roof is still the same size it's just that I offset the face I drew my roof from uh, so if I wanted to create that gable there what I would do is I just go delete and I might want a gable say I don't know, find my center point maybe center point and I'll come out here say one meter so basically what I've done is I've got a you see I've broken that line Oops, there so really all I need to do if I come out here one millimeter and then I go along here two two meters and then I go back in You'll notice that I have two lines there. I'm just outside by one millimeter. Right, and it's now created my face. But what I need to do is I need to actually erase this line here. Oops, this internal line. It takes a little bit of zooming, so if you're not used to zooming in and out all the time, you really need to be able to do this. And it's good practice for SketchUp anyway. Okay, so now when I go and create my roof, What I did is it has, now has a little uh, hip there, but I'm just going to change my hip into a gable. So click that, right click, roof, add gable. And essentially I'll just type it in my 90 degrees. My gable overhang is one millimeter and submit. And now I have a gable in the center of uh, a flat plane of a roof. It's pretty straightforward. There is one other way that you could do it, and that would be roof, uh, create roof, submit, and then you can go here and click this one and go right click roof, delete face, and roof face, yeah. And as soon as you do that, it's going to open up uh, my sloping roof or skillion roof tool. I can just go in here and say, right, what I want to do is I'm going to create this. You can see that line there doesn't quite intersect, or it does actually. All right, and I can go and create my main roof with your overhang as zero. And you can go through, I won't get too caught up here. All right, and you can see that all I need to do now is here is I uh, actually made this line out 100 millimeters. So therefore, I can just go from here to here and follow here. And this is simple geometry, and most people should understand this if they did a, a, a TAFE course or whatever it was that got them to, or, or a training course to there. And, and obviously, it's the same thing on the opposite side, and therefore, you'll get the gable. So you can create any roof that you actually want to. Now, there is going to be one issue. I'm going to show you that right now. 
You'll notice over here that we have an overhang, and it's not a big deal, it's easy enough to fix. But really inside of a roof, what happens is, is that we've actually got rafters that hold up the roof, okay? And those rafters intersect the outside of the wall. Now if I make my roof start from here with zero overhang, what's going to happen is this. Let's have a look. Get my section cut off. And I'm going to offset this by 600. Right. Delete and create my roof. Right. You'll notice that my roof is now sitting higher. And the reason being is that it took this as the pitching point. So my outside of my eave has a distance. Let's have a look. Okay, from here to here, uh, is, I have my 600 millimeters. And therefore, it took this point as being this point here. So the distance that that roof should have to move down would be this distance here. So if I went from here to here, 322 millimeters. Therefore, if I needed to move this one here to the right pitching point, I would move it down 322 millimeters. It's, it's kind of, it kind of makes sense when you do it. Um, look, I, I have built roofs, so I kind of got a better understanding, but regardless, if you just follow those prompts and you draw one with 600 overhang from your pitching point, and then you measure that distance, that's the distance your roof will drop down if you're going to do that. And it's just simple geometry, basically, or mathematics that are going with it. I hope that helps you out. Cheers.